Wendell's Diaz Gunners Collective. Back at it, you already know. Motherfucking smack at it, right? And as you can tell by today's thumbnail, yes, indubitably and indeedy. <laughs> Graffiti all over the bus. I wrote it. Spansaw, don't tell on me, but I did, right? Um, I wrote the graffiti. And I'm about to write some more right now, man. As you can tell by that thumbnail right there, we're going to get straight into it. If you ain't blasting, Vato, you simply just ain't lasting, right? We're talking about the Tango Blasts out of state of Texas. Everything is bigger in Texas. AKs, ARs, oh my. Things are bigger over there. They're making it happen. They're getting it to crack it, man. Hats are flattened. It is what it is. Texas is with the business, right? Respects to the Raza in Texas, the Tejanos. Now, there's a different mix there. Okay, a lot of people get the words Tejano mixed up with Chicano. Two different flavors, same Stilo, right? They got a lot of the original Stilo. Remember, the Pachucos derived from El Paso, Texas, from Texas, from Pachuco Town, right? So these are where the original Cholos, the original where everything, all the Chicanismo, where all the Chicano culture is derived from, from actually from Texas, almost from Texas. That's where it comes from, from them zoo suitors, cabrones, them zoo suitors, viva fucking Texas, part of Mexico at one point in time. Let's get into it. Uh, Tango Blast. This is an organization that's been around since the 80s. Okay, a lot of people say that they've been around very quietly since the 70s, but I know for sure they arose in the 80s and Vato, this fucking organization took fire. Okay, it rose up out of oppression, just like any other clique, any other ganga, any other organization rises up from the fucking concrete, the rose will bloom. You come up out the cuts, because you're an oppressed people, right? When you're being oppressed, you're being picked on, you're being bullied, and you're just going against the grain, you ain't going to have that no more. Sabes que? Bang, bang. That's what happens. What you had is a lot of youngsters, a lot of young Tejanos from Houston, Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth, um, uh, what is that, San Antonio, uh, all them areas, okay? Decided that for no other reason they should start their own organization because they didn't want to take, they didn't want to take in to the Texas syndicate, to the Barrio Aztecas, you know, and all these different groups that were going on in Texas at this point in time, the Mexicami, the uh, Texas Mexican Mafia, all these different organizations were well established in the penal system, well established in the Texas Department of Corrections, okay? And we're running the show. They were running their things, man. They go by tier one, tier two, three, four categories, STG groups, security threat groups, right? And of course, uh, for several years, for a long time, for decades, man, the Texas Syndicate was the top of the food chain along with the Texas Mexican Mafia and the Mexicamis. These guys were the ones on top of the food chain. They were eating everybody up. You were either going to take into them, join them, or become a victim of oppression or a victim that they could utilize for their benefit. That's just the way it is. I'm not woofing on this fucking individual groups. It's nothing but respect for their get down on what they're doing. And eventually we will be touching on their situations. But today we're talking about the Tango Blast. You know, me shout out Hugh Stone. You already know what it is. Um, but Tango Blast derived as different cliques, different cliques from different cities, and they all became one organization, and they were founded in the Texas Department of Corrections, right? Tango meaning clicas, or ready to fucking outlast everyone. That's what these guys are. Now, where I think they established and they were able to take fire, they are now the biggest organization, biggest gang um, subsets, you know, all to click together in the Texas Department of Corrections, period, or in the state of Texas, period. The Tangos have anywhere from 19 to 25,000 members, okay? Now, you ask yourself, so get gone. How do they get so deep? What the fuck? They did that fast. Um, a lot of real ones, right? Um, it's not that they necessarily just take in anybody. That's not the way the Tangos get down, right? What they do is they utilize a lot of these youngsters that didn't have, that were displaced, basically, didn't want to take into these older organizations. And a lot of these older organizations, man, were not falling from the wayside, but were very selective in who they got brought in. Now, of course, in the gangsterism and the gangster way of doing things, that's the right thing to do. You got to be very selective. Make sure that them individuals are cut from the same type of cloth that you're cut from, right? What the Thongos decided to do was uprise. That's why you had a lot of younger members joining the thongos now you got vatos of all ages 70 hey sasuke i was over there in houston chilling with rojo i seen a motherfucker with the cane talking about if you ain't blasting you ain't last right about the like 70 years old i said fence on la tira you know what i mean i didn't even know if that was a cane could have been an ak bed at the same time and in the meantime between time the vato was doing his thing you know so thongos uh just started to get deep they remind me somewhat of the fresno bulldog gang and i'm gonna tell you how and why the reasoning is behind it the proof is in the pudding. But the sabes que? Not no jello pudding, Pop Cosby. Sabes que? You're, you're a raper, right? But we're going to say, um, the reason they remind me of the perros, the dogs, 
are they basically um, don't have a hierarchy. They don't have, from what I know, a constitution or written fools rules uh, uh, rules and and uh, formats. Okay, they're pretty much just a whole bunch of different clique street gangs. You got the uh, the uh, Tango Blasts, which is are are out of Houston. You know what I mean? Represent Houston, Texas, man. Of course, they get that broken star, the Houston Astros, um, the Houston Rockets. These are the civilization for them. Then you got the Tango Orejones out of fucking San Antonio. Of course, these vatos get spurs all on their heads and the you know the San Antonio spurs on their face, their mascara, and Playboy bunnies as well. That's just their symbolization for them. And then, of course, you have, I think they're called the Veluchos or the Velucos, you know what I mean? Out of the different areas, just several different clicas, but of course, they're all running under Tango. They're all under Tango Blast. Okay, um, for the people that don't know, they're thinking, hey, Tango Blast is just primarily in Houston. No, there's a big, the, the majority of them are in Houston, but there's a lot of Orijones out of San Antonio that are righteously moving in a vicious fashion. A lot of youngsters that I've seen on documentaries, I happened to run into a couple one time from my mind, man, when I was out there in Houston, there was a vato from San Antonio with this camarada, boom, they were doing their thing, they were blasting. Um, respects for these individuals. Respects, why? Not because they're gang members and they'll put holes in you. Anybody could do that. But respect for just the uprising they had and how they founded it and how they set forth their motherfucking foundation with the motherfucking concrete. Their toes in the concrete. So I say, so I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Yeah, you are. Your fucking ten toes are in the concrete. But you're real, right? This is how they did it. This was the get down. Um, They started to be noticed. You know, early 80s, mid 80s, they started to really be noticed. People were taking notice. You know, the Texas Syndicate, a very well-known organization, started to, so, so, I, hey, what, hey, who's that, eh? I don't know. They to, I think they got Mongo right here. Not China. I mean, it doesn't say Mongo. I think it says Tango, right? What does that mean? So, I don't know. I can't call it like an alcoholic. Hey, watch out. Keep your eyes on the porque They're deep. There's like 20 of them right now. Next day, there was 100. They started to accumulate numbers because a lot of people that weren't being selected into these gangs were being oppressed, right? In California, in, excuse me, in the Texas Department of Corrections. And these individuals um, took them in, gave them a fucking pillow. Saskia, let me fluff your pillow one time. Lay your head right there. Don't worry, man. It's all good, right? Gave them a home to call a happy home. Gave them a spot. Gave them a place. And what happened was loyalty. These vatos got loyal to the soil from which they toiled. They got loyal to this organization and it took fire and everyone took notice and they absolutely became the deepest entity in the Texas Department of Corrections, okay? And very dangerous and vicious. These guys got a lot of youngsters. Uh, it seems like a lot of youngsters are taking into the Tango Blast and it's just becoming uh, something of a fad. Now, I won't say a fad like they ain't about their shit, but everybody wants to be one. Everyone is striving to become a Tango, okay? And they got a lot of enemies, you know, the Barrio Aztecas, the, the Texas Mexican Mafia, like I said, the Texas Syndicate, the Mexicamis, uh, the Tri-City Bombers. These are just different clicas, uh, the MS-13s. Um, these are different clicas um, that they go against. Now, do they claim the 13 or the 14 like up north or down south in California? Absolutely not. They're not with that program, but they function like Norteños, you know. They're very structured and militant. Now, I don't know about the rules and regulations or if they even have any. I don't think they do. But at the same time, just the way they carry themselves. When I ran into a few of them before, I thought they were homeboys. I thought they were Norteños. You know, just the way they carry themselves, the canalismo, the embracement, everything was real. I shook a couple of their hands, chopped it up with them, told them I was from Norte Califas, but I wasn't with that shit anymore, man. I was kind of just an old head, just doing my thing. Um, they were with that. They appreciated me, embraced me. It's all good, homie. It's all good, man. Well, welcome to Texas, where the players play. I said, Orale, I th thought that was Atlanta. Charlie, ludicrous. It's fucking Texas. And in that fashion, because they tipping off of foes, tipping off of... Now, they got a different flavor out in Texas. You know, for those of you that don't know and ain't never been there, the Chicanos roll different. Like I said, they're Tejanos, not necessarily Chicanos. So where we have the low riders, the six fours, the six threes, man, sitting on triple gold ones, you know, what I mean, size 13, size 14s, you know, we might throw some 20s on them if we're feeling frisky that night. You just never know what it is, man. But we got that low rider scene. That's our cultura. Ben Davis's dickies. Oh, my. Ben Davis shirts. You know, what I mean, with the little motherfucking uh, fedora. We're doing it. Homes high socks. They don't stink. Right. And we're doing our mobilization. You know, we got the Cortezes and the Chucks banging. They are a, bit, a little bit different. 
they're a little bit, I wouldn't say fresher, more my stilo. You know, I love that Chicano culture. I love that stilo. Of course, I love my bands to the day I die, my 501s. But at the same time, I kind of like their stilo, man. They rock the jerseys, you know what I mean? The different hats. Um, a little bit more urban based, you know? That's just their stilo. They talk with that twang. They got that Texas twang. Um, they're riding on Cadillacs with bullhorns and swangers. You know what I mean? They're tipping this way. They're dipping that way. You know what I mean? Flip, flip, game over. They're on some different shit over there. But at the same time, they're not to be slept on. They're a very dangerous group. Dangerous because their numbers that they've accumulated surpass almost any other Latino street gang. You know, these guys are up there with the Southsiders as far as members. Man, these are, or excuse me, not the whole Southside movement because that's, that's, that's a million vatos. You know what I mean? Um, but like 18th Street, you know, they got several members. They're like that. Not maybe necessarily as deep because, you know, 18 is worldwide. But for the fucking Texas being as big of a state as it is, there's a lot of members. You know, 19 to 25,000 says, okay, they could fill up a whole stadium and come watch me perform at a comedy show. Bang, bang. Me right there with Fluffy. Fluffy, hey, Gunner, can I go next? Charlie, puto, sit back before I check your chin. And in that fashion, right? These votos are deep at a thongo. Okay, they got a lot of hitters. A lot of votos that have been caught up. A lot of votos that are now doing federal time. So, of course, you have a lot of thongos that are in federal prisons. Not necessarily just the Texas Department, you know, of corrections. Now, they're predominant group deepest nobody wants that action of course if any they have their own pods homes they're put on their own yards just because they're just too deep they're so numerous that you know th they pose a serious threat they are a tier one stg group meaning they're highest possible whereas the texas syndicate actually moved to a tier two quite recently um they were demoted about the size and it's not because they don't pose a potential threat and they're not with the business because they absolutely are but at the same time the thongos are just overshadowing everyone by sheer force by domination by numbers and by fucking everything but these motherfuckers are with it you know what i mean their model is if you ain't blasting you ain't lasting meaning fucking bang bang they're out there handling business you know um that's just what they believe in now a lot of them are true believers in their cultura they're true believers in the state of texas born and raised and bred and you got to respect their gangster you got to respect that being Tejanos there's a lot of love there a uh, deep rich history and you got to show them that you got to show them that respect and you got to understand these guys are derived from an oppressed people that didn't have that respect you know they went into prison man they had to band together you know what I mean for power you know so that way we could turn it on them and they did it you know what I mean they did it and now they're riding around homes clap action hey throw the pinchy gun out you know what I mean this is what they're on Doing it like a Chicano, but on a Tejano twist. You know what I mean? On swangers. Just just doing their thing. Um, so I got to talking to a couple of autos that I met in Houston uh, from Tango Blast. One of them, bro, he had right here, he had the Houston Rocket sign. I said, Sasuke, are you a Steve Francis fan? He was like, yeah. And you know what I mean? He didn't even know what I was talking about. But at the same time, um, he was with it. He was with it. He showed me a couple of thank things, man, that I can't speak on right now. And uh, just kind of told me, you know, uh, about the clicas and... Uh, and I appreciated it, and I respected the information, bro. I also respected the way they got down, man. I just like their flavor, man. They're just good people, you know, to me, the way I felt. Now, obviously, to the normal citizen that's never been in the gang life or been in prison and doesn't know the get down, so they're going to walk on the other side of the street because they don't want these vatos to take their wallet. You know what I mean? But at the same time, they weren't even on that, man. They were some cool youngsters. They were just trying to kick back, get their little pistol on. They had a couple of in the car, so I was scared. The gun was like, eh, you know what I mean? I can't work with that guy, no lady. But this is what they were on. Um, but they told me about the history. You know, I asked. Closed mouths don't get fed, bro. You know, I've always wanted to run into a Thongo Blast. I seen a documentary on him. It tripped me out, man, because I thought when I was watching that documentary, fucking for through half the documentary, I thought they were Northanos. I was like, damn, the homies are deep in Texas. See the vatos in the town, and you know we're gonna blow them down, right? I already thought that was what it was. And then all of a sudden I seen them saying Thongo, and I was like, what the fuck is that? Right? What does that mean? Um and then I come to understand that that was a whole different organization. Okay. Now people ask me, so if a tango is locked up in California, does he function with the North or the South? The Vato is going to function with whoever he gets. He's going to get him where he fits and he's going to function with whoever he wants to. Now I know in federal prison, they are cool with the Norteños. That's just right off the top. I can tell you that I've never been in the federal system, but I can tell you that they're cool with them. Meaning there's no animosity there. Not necessarily that they're clicked up or they have some type of fucking tr peace treaty or they're getting along or they're doing things together. Cause I ain't there to tell you. That, the facts on that. But I will tell you, man, there's no animosity there. They're not tripping on each other like that. You know, they're part of the Texas organizations, man. They got the backs of the vatos that are doing their thing in the feds. And we're going to leave that right there where it's at without saying too much. Respects to everyone that's involved in that. But at the same time, um, they are a very feared group in Texas because of how deep they are now. 
And some of the crimes that they're doing are just traditional crimes like everyone else does. You know what I mean, Sasuke? Stealing a little purse here, blowing a motherfucker's head off there. You know what I mean, Sasuke? Uh, taking a car here. You know what I mean? Using a chainsaw there. Normal. You know what I mean? They're just doing normal shit. To the fucking outside looking in. On the outside looking in. Yay, yay. People wouldn't understand. You know? I do just simply because I've lived that lifestyle for so many years and I've been through that. I've been through the hardships and the struggles. So I understand where these guys are coming from. You know, and I asked the Vato, I said, hey, bro, how do you Vatos get so deep? He said, a lot of the youngsters see us, bro. See how we carry ourselves. See the way we're feared. See the way we move. We move as one unit, one wet oil machine. Homes. We're up to par. We're on point. We ain't fucking going out like that. And these Vatos are wild, right? Now, let me talk about another clica that's part of Tango Blast, and that's the Tango Orijones. Shout out to Respect San Antonio. Shout out to San Antonio, Texas. These motherfuckers right here. <laughs> are you ready? You know what I mean? I'm talking about these youngsters are vicious, right? I seen a documentary one time, man. These vultures were slicing, dicing, and moving with a whole lot of energy. They were dipping and dashing. They were handling their business, you know? And San Antonio has always been a predominant area of raza. Tejanos are deep there. So pretty much, they control the San Antonio area. You know, of course, they took their own name, the Orijones, meaning the fucking rabbit ears, the fucking ears, or whatever the case may be. And they used that as their symbolization, and they ran wild with it like Hulk Hogan. And yes, brother, you know what I mean? They're world champions. They're doing their thing. At the same time, um, all these different clicas... Like the Orijones, I think the Valucos or the Valuchos, I'm not sure what they call them. And, uh, and a couple other groups that I can't speak on because I don't know about, like I said, are all tango. Okay? One big clica. You know? Straight up. Hey, so gun. So what about, uh, you know, who's their leader? Those are questions you don't ask. I'm sure they have big homies that they look up to. I'm sure they have leaders in their organization, founding fathers, things of that nature. People that they look up to that are, you know, set for some type of, uh, you know, rules. Like I said, I don't know if they have them, and that's why they're reminding me of the Bulldogs, because they're kind of like renegades. Homes. No one's going to tell us what to do. We're going to get off where we're mad at. We're going to do what we do, and we're going to be well-respected while doing it. You know, I show a lot of love to the Federals because they fucking have done this for several years, man. They're still around after 35 years of turmoil and war with everybody, you know, and these Tango Blasts are pretty much the same, only these Tango Blasts, homes are deeper and a little bit more well-established just based on, homes the way they move. I seen Vatos on Tuvo on TV, bro, talking about these guys. And a lot of Vatos are like, man, they're wild, they're crazy, they're ambitious, they're in that motherfucker trying to win, bro. And they're so deep and they're, they move so quickly with how they do and the viciousness of it, no one could establish. You know, of course, you got all these older organizations that ain't no suckers at all, by no means necessary. But this just seems like they can't deal with these youngsters. The influx of the youngsters that all look up to these tangos. And they're everywhere now throughout Texas. You know, of course, you know, I'm not going to say they started in Houston. I think they actually started in Austin. Correct me if I'm wrong in the DMs. If you're blasting, you know you're lasting. Um, you could correct me and give me a little bit more historia. But I do know that the tangos are well established um, in Houston. That's probably the base. That's probably where they're deepest, you know. And Houston's about that wiggle, man. Like I said, a little bit, a little bit different flavor than Califas. But at the same time, man, raza is a raza. And at the end of the day, man, we got pride. We're derived from warriors, man. And we got that warrior mentality. Now, as far as the Africano community over there in Texas, the embracement is real. These tangos get along with the Africano community. There isn't a lot. This is Texas. Texas is predominantly steers and queers. And guess what? They ain't trying to do the queer shit. They're trying to do the motherfucking gangster shit. You feel me? Um, and that's just what it is. Um, but the Africanos that are there, um, I'm sure move in silence and handle their business. There's Crips, there's Bloods, just like anywhere else. I know Latin Kings got a big movement and a big following in Texas. That's just what it is, man. Texas is made up of different places, different style, but at the same time, man, they're still with that gangster shit. So, when these thongos, uh were established and when they started to be noticed, people started to fear them, you know, and the, the, the Texas Department of Corrections wasn't up on game. See, when something just springs up, when these groups just spring up, no one takes notice. No one cares, man. Several people try to start cliques, try to start gangs, try to start organizations. This has happened throughout the history of life. People always want to start something. Only the strong survive, Vato. Only the real ones that are cut from a certain cloth will last. Well, guess what? This Vato's got a big blanket, homes that cover the whole state because they lasted. 
while they blasted. You feel me? Anyways, without being repetitive, because I know I'm repeating myself, um, shout out some respects to the Tango Blast. That organization moves. I hope I gave you a little bit of insight. I know I couldn't do too much because I don't know too much. What I do know, man, is they're real ones. They handle their business. They're not to be slept on. They're to be fucking adhered to because guess what, umps? They ain't fucking no suckers, man. They're doing their thing just like Cali's wiggling, man. Every state got a different organization. And this one right here is one of the biggest in the world. Shout out some respects to the Thongo Blast. I hope that you move fast with a purpose. I hope you get everything that you want coming to you. Remember, it's all about going out there and blasting while you're lasting for your people. Hustle for your gente. Hustle for your loved ones. Hustle for your kids. Hey, but most importantly, hustle for yourself. You know what I mean? You can't give nothing to no one if you can't do nothing for yourself. Like and subscribe. The gun. You know what it is, man. Shout out to Texas. Bang, bang, you motherfuckers motherfucking riding out there.